So yeah, good morning YouTube. Been taking a look at this old solenoid block from the Breville Barista Express. This one uses Olab solenoids, and I've seen a lot of these listed on eBay. I think the two solenoid coils are actually identical, and then it's just the body of the valve. This they call their two slash three way because it's got two outlets one over here, one over here, and then this is just the regular on off valve. But the solenoid coils, I believe, are, are all the same here. So these come out around 680 ohms on the coils, and they're listed at 10.5 volt amps at 120 volts. So this is the new solenoid block that I just got, and they use a different brand of solenoid. It's a CEME, C-E-M-E. They're both Italian companies, and I'll put links to the web pages in the video description. Wait right, till it settles down there. 512 ohms. So these are listed at 14 volt amps. And if you work out the current, that's about 110 milliamps on this one, and about 80 milliamps on this one. And I figured we could check that out. So I made up a little tester. Here's my cliff quick test and I put a couple of wires in the output there. So I have that plugged into my bench power supply and then I made up a little wiring harness, some spade lugs there. Power applied to these two pins and then the horizontal pin here is ground. And what I'm going to do is I'll just close the cover on the quick test and listen here. So you can just hear a real solid click and get about eight and a half watts and 110 milliamps. So that checks out. So now I'm hooked up to the other side here. I'll close the cliff quick test. And we get the same 110, eight and a half watts. So the 110 times 120 volts gives you the 14 volt amps. And then eight and a half watts is the actual real power dissipation there, in case you're wondering. So here's the old solenoid with the Olab valves. And here we go. I'll shut the quick test. And there's the clicking. We get about 6.7 watts and 80 milliamps. So this one checks out. Here we go. I've moved the test leads over to the 2 slash 3 way valve. And listen to this. So interesting, it's still the same power, 80 milliamps, 6.7, 6.8 watts, but that one is definitely buzzing. I think this one here is the problem. I'll put an eBay search link for some of these valves, and they are available out of Europe. This two slash three way valve is probably about $50 US by the time you get it shipped over here. The newer CME valves don't appear to be available online. I can only find them in this completed package. But at some point I want to take this apart and see if I can figure out what's going on. Is it the electrical coil here or is there something wrong inside the valve that's messed up? So I found some diagrams online. I'll try to cut those into the video to show how this valve works. It looks like maybe Breville has changed from the Olab solenoids to these CME solenoids. And these seem to be a little bit higher current, which means there's going to be more field in here, which will operate or actuate the valves more solidly. So maybe they've been having problems with these. I've heard a lot of reports of people having to replace these. So maybe they went to a, a little stronger valve. Now the one difference I notice, so on the new solenoid block, this is a two bar rated solenoid and this one is 17 bar on the old solenoid block. 
So both of these are rated at 230 PSI. They're both rated at the higher pressure. And it was this one that failed, which is the three-way valve. On here, the two slash three-way valve is the two-bar version. A couple of differences I see. Different brand, higher power solenoids, but the older one has higher pressure solenoids. They're both high pressure, but they're lower current and lower actuating force. It looks like Breville had been using these in a lot of different machines. You look on eBay and they list the 860, the 870. They have all of these listings for these Olab solenoids and nothing for the CME. I need to get this shut off and next step is we'll go with this back into the machine and see if it works. So yeah, if you have any insight, if you've replaced your solenoids and noted what brand they were, go ahead and post up in the comment section down below. So I'll put the other repair videos over here on the left side. And as always, thanks for watching.